Pisces, usually I start by pulling out some oracle cards and sitting with the energy and meditating on the meaning and the message that's coming through. But I feel guided to start right away because as I pulled out this deck, I was hearing a message and I did have a chance to write it down here. And it was one person shouldn't have all that power. And it felt like somebody was saying this about you, that you Pisces shouldn't have all this power. And I was wondering like, well, what what is this power? And I was anticipating the Oracle cards to give me insight. But then this card flew out of the tarot deck, 10 of water. And this is one of your cards, Pisces. So I think this is your power that they're looking at. And 10 of cups, 10 of water is about long-term vision. It's about joy and happiness. It's about community, working with others, seeing all the of the resources that are available to you and knowing how to use them. Also knowing that you have many options for success, love and abundance, that you're not limited. The only limitation comes from your own mind and you know that. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so maybe uh, there's also something about communication between you and this person or you're very strong in your communicative abilities. And I, I'm hearing, let me clear my throat. You know that uh, song, let me clear my throat. Yeah, I'm hearing that. And I feel like you've said something or you have something to say or your words come through very strongly. When you put your words on the table, I'm getting, when you put your words on the table, it's like people see it and they're like, oh, should I pick that up? Because if I pick up Pisces words, then I have to own it. Interesting, Pisces. So I feel like you're... An accountability healer, an accountability leader, accountability leader or healer or something like that. You demand accountability, but not in a way that is aggressive or even straightforward. It's not like you're asking that. It's just in your presentation of yourself or the power that you hold within that and the words that you say or write or deliver People are forced to take accountability if they want to continue to engage with you in the long term. And I feel like somebody's looking at you saying, well, Pisces shouldn't be able to demand that or ask that. Or this shouldn't, yeah, I don't know. There's somebody here. Now, it could be an aspect of yourself. So you take it how it resonates with you. But it's like somebody's saying, why is it got to be like that? <laughs> And it feels like whatever you're doing is very natural to you. It's in your nature, 10 of water, your card. I also feel like there are people who celebrate you and bring you opportunity or bring you, um, who respect you and maybe offer things to you. And you don't have to conform or act a certain way to get these people's respect. They just see you for who you are and they're drawn to you. They're attracted to you and your authenticity. But then I also feel it's not pictured in this card, but I also feel like there's others who are projecting something onto you. Okay, and it's like they have this view of you that, oh, Pisces thinks they're all that or Pisces thinks that they're better than everyone. But it's just because these energies or that person, whoever it is, whatever it is, doesn't want to take accountability for something in their own life. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting message because <clears throat> it doesn't feel like you are intentionally trying to ask this person to do anything. Maybe you don't even know this person really well. I, I'm not sure yet. We'll get more cards out but someone's having a strong reaction to you. And then I got the message, who are you when no one's looking? And again, this feels like someone else asking you this Pisces or asking themselves, like who's Pisces when nobody's around? It's like someone doesn't believe you are who you are or that you're pretending in some way, but you are a mermaid, <laughs> you know, like you are as fantastical and mystical as you appear to others, that's that's actually who you are. I don't know, somebody's having a hard time grappling here with your energy because they can't take accountability. I don't know, there's something more comfortable 
with them asking questions about you and your power and maybe you shouldn't have what you have or I don't know but it, it it's about them you're just hap you're just the trigger point for it for those questions and it would be nice if they self-reflected but I don't know they're they're really consumed with you in some way I don't think it's an obsession though doesn't feel like that. It's just a preoccupation. Or it's like whenever they come across you, they're like, why Pisces? <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous in a sense. Okay, I don't know why we're talking about this or why this message needs to come through, but we're going to investigate. We're going to see. <clears throat> uh, yeah, like I'm clearing my throat a lot here. There's something about like you getting ready to say something or they feel you ah okay so maybe you make posts online or you, or when you call someone i don't know they feel you coming they feel your energy coming and then they they go check and there there you are okay huh. so maybe you do have a power over them at least as they perceive it and they're trying to figure out why it is they feel your energy in that way Okay, um, we've got the Ten of Cups here. Let's get the theme of the reading spirit from this Oracle deck, and then we'll get further. No, we were going to do the charms. Okay, we'll do this first. Enchanted Unity. Let animals be your guides. That's a good message for you, Pisces. You're so good with animals. You have this uh, unspoken communication with them. I'm seeing a boar, a dog, a cat, and a raven. Could be another kind of bird, not sure. Interesting. Four key animals in your aura. Let animals be your guides. And I was seeing this hummingbird here. So pay attention to animal archetypes. And if you see any animals out there in the world, know that they are guiding you. They have messages for you. Number 13. Enchanted unity. What's going on here, spirit? Tempest. Yeah, it feels like there's something, I mean, it's exciting, it's cool, it's cute, <laughs> the enchanted unity with animals and them being your guides, but 13 can be a karmic number, and then I'm noticing this open book here, and there's a, a inverted pentagram, which is not evil, okay, it's just the polarity of the upward pentagram, it's the other side of it, it's a focus on earthly matters versus spiritual matters, okay, and it's good to have a balance of the two. Huh. Enchanted unity. Okay. I feel like someone wants to bring you back down to earth. I'm not saying you're not on earth. You decide. Um, but it's like someone's perceiving you. Like Pisces can't be that magical, that powerful. Hold on, what's going on here? Because the Tempest is a storm. I was trying to bring some kind of storm to your sunny day. But look, you have a rainbow. You have double rainbows in the background. So the more storms, the more rainbows for you. Ah, okay, so no matter how many times somebody tries to stir the pot or disrupt you, it just creates more and more abundance for you, more storms, more pot of gold, you know, like or more storms, interesting, more rainbows, more pot of gold, pots of gold. Hmm, I feel like that, that could be a last name, Goldman, Goldstein, Golds, Golds, or a place or something like that. Okay, let's see. Let's get in further, Pisces. Let me see the energy supporting Pisces. 
Eruption. I'm telling you, the more storms, the more eruptions that people try to bring toward you, it's like they just bring the energy on in and you take it and you transmute it or you play with it or you do whatever you want to do with it and it doesn't phase you or it doesn't bother you or at least it doesn't have to is what Spirit's saying. And there's people who respect the way you handle these situations. I'm seeing resilience, deluge, uh, abundance. See? Emotional storm brings you abundance. That's just what I said. And then we have blocked. Yeah, I feel like you're able to block somebody's like evil eye, you know, take that loosely or like it doesn't have to be so literal or their, um, their focus on you. You're able to just block it out and not let it interfere with your abundance. Okay, but spirit. Okay, so this seems like Pisces really knows all that. So why are we having this reading just to feed their ego? Like, what's the point? <laughs> you know, like, what's the point? Yeah. I mean, sometimes we need this reassurance. Don't get me wrong. And it's for our soul. But I mean, it seems like you're pretty chill over here. So why do we need to know all of this? Completion and cleanse. Okay. All right. That makes sense. So you've either completed a cycle and this is what you need to know, you've come into this energy where things no longer bother you or have to bother you in the same way they did before. You can see all storms as rewards in some way. Okay, maybe not initially they don't feel like that, but inevitably they end up in rainbows for you. For others of you, you need to cleanse some energy out uh, in order to have this kind of completion. In order for some projecting energies to be blocked. Okay, you need to do a little bit of cleansing. We're going to find out more about that, but let's see. Yeah. And yeah, okay. Let's, let's see the challenge for Pisces spirit. Relation. Oh, I said relationship, but it's not. Maybe relationships are challenging you right now. Responsibility. Reincarnation. <laughs> Obstacle in reverse. The challenge is that you are a healer of accountability. I almost want to say a dealer because you're putting the words on the table like a card dealer. Maybe you're a tarot reader. Yeah, that's funny. You're a dealer of accountability. And it's kind of your role. It's, it's what you've come here to do. But again, it's not like it's just happening. And that could feel like a challenge for you. It could feel like, why am I tasked this responsibility in this lifetime? But Spirit's saying it's not an actual obstacle for you. Only if you make it an obstacle for you. Okay? Sometimes we just have to come to terms with the fact that we are positioned in certain relationships, situationships, whatever, um, to be that catalyst or to be that tripwire, to be that thing that gets people to start questioning themselves, their own reality, the stories they've created, so forth. Maybe they need to create a storm. They need to stir some energy up for themselves, you know, and, and we just happen to be that point of reference that gets that ball rolling. But I don't know. That doesn't sound fun or right. <laughs> okay, hold on. Pisces. You could also be sending. Again, I feel like this is out of your conscious capacity. Okay, this is like a subconscious, psychic, magical gift, mystic, mystical gift, mysticism I'm hearing, uh, where you could be sending animal messengers to people. Okay, I don't know. Maybe they really need to listen to what it is that you have to say. And you know that, so you keep saying something. Okay. 
Maybe this is a cross watcher reading. I don't know. I don't really do those. I always read for, well, I don't know. I always read for the energies um, that are tuning in. Okay, I, I, I don't do a reading for someone who's never going to see this video. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Let's see, Pisces. Three more. Yeah, somebody doesn't understand you, Pisces. That's for sure. But do you you must know this. <laughs> simplify. Someone could be wanting you to simplify you. I mean, look at this card. This is not a simple scene here. There's a lot going on. And somebody wants you to simplify the way that you're asking for accountability or the way that you're doing something. Maybe they want you to dumb something down. They don't want you to be you, basically. They just want you to be an energy or a person that makes them feel comfortable and unthreatened. Okay. This is interesting play. It's something about your playfulness. Okay. You don't take their reactions towards you or their storms, their upheavals seriously. You, you don't. I, I think observe. <laughs> they watch and see for your reaction too. And they're meant to see your reaction. They're meant to observe something. Okay, Spirit, can we get the cards out? Sorry. <laughs> I felt like that. Heal. Hmm. Okay, but Pisces, like what, what's important for you to know? You know, like where, where can you grow? Where can you, what, what's good for you to know? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> the challenge growth. Yeah, because I'm like, where's the growth for Pisces? Like, what do we need to talk about for, for growth, for more spiritual growth? Um, and that's the challenge here because your overall energy is abundance. You're doing pretty good right now or there's a lot of good things surrounding you and you've accomplished quite a bit and you should celebrate. But uh, let's not stay stagnant in any energy. Let's continue to grow and heal and ascend. What do you wish for Pisces. That's where you need to focus on. What is a wish that you have, but for some reason it's being it's hard to obtain this thing. What is that? That's the focus of healing for you or the focus of growth if healing doesn't resonate. That's what you need to um focus on. This other situation, well, it's interesting to hear about and probably confirmation for you about what you already know to be true. Um, focusing too much on it isn't really going to help your growth. I feel like connection, you, there's a connection that wants to happen for you. A desire to connect now this could be connecting to a new guide it could be connecting to a new ability it could be connecting to change or just an energy form or a person or a person but you've been in this role of having some kind of power divine power in, in doing whatever you're doing your accountability dealings you know um and I feel like that's become a responsibility and maybe a little bit of a routine for you. You're used to being in this energy. And I feel like Spirit's wanting you to surrender something so that you can focus more on your growth. Maybe surrender this narrative, surrender the storyline. You know, like... Let's, let's get in further. I got the cards out here, but I want to double up with tarot. So for your overall energy, we have abundance. Abundance and the nine of pentacles. Now this came out in reverse. And I feel like the message here is like you saying, I don't really need anybody though. 
And that's, is that true? I was gonna say that's true, but something stopped me. Is that true? I don't know. Maybe that's a question that you have for yourself. Nine of earth. I'm seeing a fox here and a pine cone. There's a cleverness about you and a real deep insight, third eye stuff going on, your pineal gland with the pine cone. A very magical connection to animals, okay? Walks in the woods and forests and parks and nature are good for you. It's actually where your abundance begins to increase. Man, I need to go to the woods. It's been too long, Pisces. <laughs> Thank you for just like putting that, like I just felt this like wave come saying like, you need to go to the woods. I do, you're right. Okay accountability see it's like you just said to me how could you tell me that advice when you're not doing it yourself you just dealt me some accountability and this is just an example of what you're doing mm -hmm. and immediately i said you're right i do uh, but other people won't take that right away they'll be like no that's not no <laughs> okay we're back in that storyline so this is you saying, I don't need anybody. I'm abundant on my own. Or my kind of abundance doesn't come from material goods and wealth. I have a different kind of abundant relationship to the world. And I, I think that's true with that mermaid showing up. So overall good vibes here. But I think a little bit of a softer energy would like to peek through. Because the Ten of Cups is kind of like a soft card. It's a water card. But it's coming up like, I'm the Ten of Cups. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's, and it's not a bad thing. It's, just, it's commanding respect. But there's something else here that maybe we could focus on. I'm trying to get to it, but we'll see. Change is what you don't see coming. A new chapter in your story, Pisces. A change. Look at this card. There's something about it. Uh, maybe the swirls in the background. It feels like it's actually moving. Yeah, I can see the pages flipping. Let's see. What was your last reading? Pisces. October. The first occurrence of something new. The weight has been decided. Spirit, you're a clear channel. Power in numbers. I feel like the message, I just felt guided to flip back because of this image. I feel like an, the message that's coming through here again for you is the first occurrence of something new. There's something else that wants to come through here. Maybe it's something unfamiliar to you. That's why you have to surrender. Then in September, we had energy is changing. There's cracks, rips, tears, breaks. Things that are no longer your focus or holding your energy are removed. Grizzly bear, a tooth, asking for your help. What's that say? I don't know what that says. Cell packing? Gel packing? I don't remember that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I feel like we're still riding on the, the last three months energy here in your reading. Grizzly bear. No Pisces should have all that power. Okay, change. Tell me more about change. You should. You should have all the power you have. I mean, I, whoever I'm connecting to is using it responsible. Responsible. Responsibly. Hmm. Do you know that? Maybe you feel like you're not. You are. We have death. Okay, this is a big change coming up for what you don't see coming. Huge, massive, there's 13 again. Enchanted unity, let animals be your guides. Okay, so the animals are guiding you towards change. And I do feel like it's something on the earthly plane, some kind of change in your environment, in your, in your actual life. <laughs> like something you can see and point to and say that's changing. Okay, so what is this change here? Now, it has a spiritual element to it, of course. What is this change? These purple flowers are really standing out to me. Eggplant flowers. The 
Empress. Oh. There's... You're going to be pregnant with possibilities. Maybe that's a literal message for someone. Could be metaphorical. For most of you, it's metaphorical. But there's a, a birthing here on its way. This is Earth energy. The Empress. Soft. Softer energy for you, Pisces. And it's going to feel good. Okay? Sometimes when we're in a harsher energy, we can feel revitalized. Like we can just like go at it. You know, we feel all invigorated. We feel all riled up and we can really like push with that energy and use it to our advantage to do whatever it is that we're doing. But that only lasts so long. A more sustainable energy is a softness, is a balance. That will see you through much longer than that kind of ferociousness that it does serve us at times, but I feel like there's a softer energy coming through for you. And I like it, the Ten of Cups with the Empress, there does seem to be some kind of unity that is going to happen. Maybe this is with someone else, I don't know. But there's something birthing into your life. There's a big change here and it's been waiting to come through, okay? It's been waiting. Can we see anything else about this change? This could be you being more adamant about going after your desires and putting the pieces in place that you need to in order to get what you want. Three of fire came out in reverse. Three of wands. So not waiting around anymore to see what's going to come to you. This is you going out to get it. it. There's a proactive energy here, a soft proactive energy. Interesting. It's a balance. I also see this like woman making it rain. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I'm seeing this as money being thrown up in the air, which is interesting because your opportunity is to give. So maybe it, this, you know, I mean, maybe you're loaded and you need to donate. I don't know. Uh, but if that's not you, then there's something about giving your energy to something else. Hmm. But Spirit's not really telling me what that is. I feel like you've been doing something a certain way and maybe it's worked. You've laid out all your cards of accountability. Those who wanted to pick them up have picked them up. Those who were chickened out and walked away and did their thing and are going to have to move through their own lessons in their own time. Um, but now it's like, you're not meant to stay in the casino of karma <laughs> forever as the dealer, right? You're meant to move on and do something else, okay? And I feel like that's what Spirit's saying. That's interesting. The casino of karma. <laughs> the wheel of fortune. Okay, so let's see what you're supposed to give here. Or maybe something's being given to you. Pisces. Do you think if I title that, people will understand? Casino of Karma. I mean, how could you not title the reading that? It's so catchy. Ten of Air. <laughs> Maybe they won't. Mm -hmm. There's a final nail. I'm seeing all these nails. There's a nail in the coffin. Okay, a final nail in the coffin that needs to be put in place with something. The cleanse, the completion. So maybe you were waiting and waiting and waiting. Hey, this person uh, just wandered off to pay, play the slots. They'll be back to the table to pick up their hand of accountability, but they never come back. So you gotta pack it up. House always wins. And you're the house. Interesting. This is a fascinating energy, Pisces. Give something the opportunity to end. Somebody might have to feel the burn of something, okay? If somebody is going through a painful time in your life around you and you like you're witnessing this and this person isn't doing anything ill towards you, perhaps there's something you could give them, some guidance, some love, some reassurance. Maybe you send them a little animal, okay? You just all you have to do is just sit in meditation and envision a hawk, an eagle, a otter, whatever animal it is that you 
vibe with and just like ask that spirit animal if they can go and be with that person okay and trust that the universe will do its thing night of fire in reverse yeah there's like giving up even on something here that needs to happen you can't move forward with it this could be something um there could be something about a fire sign okay i'm seeing someone uh drinking uh, like i don't know what it is is it zambuca those shots that are on fire it's like this person went to go drink a fiery shot i don't know maybe they'd rather have a distorted reality than see clearly i don't know what this is relating to pisces okay but let's keep going your challenge growth so let's find out more about this well, look how cute you are <laughs> you have your roots you are growing five of air in reverse five of swords growing out of like some kind of I've seen dragons on this card. It feels like gossip. Or like calling out to someone like, hey, you over there, you like, you, I don't know. Not engaging with something that involves dark thought forms. That's what needs to end. Whether that's a person in your life who continually does that, or maybe you were channeling that in a way. Um, and maybe it was good for some time. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's like something else wants to be born now. The growth comes from leaving the Five of Swords behind. And I think we can all agree that's generally a good thing. The Five of Swords is about manipulation, unfair gameplay, winning at all costs, not really concerned about the consequences of your actions. And I'm not saying that this is you. Maybe it is. Or maybe it's you just giving this energy to someone who's like that. Or even talking about them. And I feel like this is its kind of a meta message. Because I keep talking about this energy that's like questioning you. And I want to so desperately move away from it. But we keep kind of, it keeps popping up. Okay. So maybe there's a, a like a habit that you have about thinking about this or engaging with this energy on some level that just needs to be broken. Wish for your advice. And this is what I was saying. Focus on what it is that you're wishing for. Who do you see yourself being in five years time from now? What does that look like? I feel like your vision could be a little bit clearer. Crystallize that vision of yourself in the future so you can start working towards it, start manifesting towards it. No, 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 that's too many. Let's see, what is this um, wish that Pisces has? The Three of Swords and Temperance. Well, it's to heal. To heal heartbreak. There's also, I have to say it because I'm seeing it. This is not for all of you, okay? But I am seeing uh, a wish for some vengeance here. See how she's holding this knife? It's like, you hurt me. I'm going to go out and get you. <laughs> okay? And then the part of you that's hurt is saying, no, come back. Don't do that. That's not what's going to heal me. And I feel like there's a realization of that that's underway, if that's your story. Spirits here telling you there's something about alchemizing the situation in a different way that will help you. Okay, there is time that is passing as we perceive it. And that time that is passing, as cliche as it is, is healing something. There's a veil that's becoming thinner and thinner and thinner as time passes. Okay, you could be laying down those cards of accountability just for randos or like just, you know, for people that you kind of know, whatever. Uh, but the one person you want to take accountability just won't. And so you keep standing at that table dealing out cards hoping 
that they'll come by, but they won't because the house always wins. They're not going to pick up the cards. Do you know what I'm saying? It's too hard because part of picking up the cards and taking accountability is accepting that they've lost something, maybe you. And so they won't do that. Why are they going to play a losing game? All right. I'm just saying that because we're talking about the casino of karma, <laughs> not saying that it's an actual game for you, but it could be becoming one in a sense. The longer you stay there, stand there, that's for someone, okay? Uh, what's going to come up in the next three months for you? We have embrace. I feel like this is a nice, beautiful embrace of yourself, of your own energy, of your power. This is cleansing, completion. Could be an embrace from someone else. Let's see. There's something about the new moon, the next new moon. We have the king of swords, elder of air. You're going to embrace your wisdom, your knowledge. Mm, I like this elder of air. It's the king of swords. And I like it. I like it feels exciting. This could be someone else. It feels kind of like someone else. Um, something else is going to be way more interesting to you than what you're focused on now. Or what you're focused on now, if it does interest you, it's going to morph and it's going to change. And wherever you go next, it's really going to grab your mental uh, attention. You're going to be really into something. Maybe learning about something or teaching others about something. But you're going to be like in it full-fledged. And it's going to embrace you. And you're going to embrace it. It, it like um, envelops you in a sense. This curiosity for something or this knowledge you start to build or maybe it's a new talent skill hobby or workplace thing situation I don't know there's something here that just grabs your mind and pulls you into this fulfilling direction that's what I'm feeling and all of this other kind of stuff becomes like mushy I'm hearing it becomes mushy like um doesn't hold as much weight it's not solid in your energy it's just mushiness you're moving in a in a place, in a space, in, in a direction that is captivating your mind in a really positive way. Some of you are going to get an offer to do something and it's right up your alley. It's right up your alley. And it's like the break. It's Yeah, it's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God I got out of the casino and now I'm doing this thing. So maybe it's a change of job. I don't know. It could be many things for different people out there. All right, some of you it has to do with music even, or there's something about radio, podcasting. Okay, Pisces, I'm gonna go to an extended reading. The letter P could be important. In the extended, I go a layer deeper into this reading. We'll get more specific, gets more personal, there's less of you there. The link for that is in the description box below, but if you don't feel guided to go there or you can't for whatever reason, then just trust that Spirit gave you the down low and gave you all the details that you need right here, right now. I love you so much. I'll see you next time.